having a thought here. This the sword key better not be in one of the Oh, what's the word? Desks. The one of the locked desks. Because there's only a limited amount of small keys to use. But here we have some ammo. Yay! And before I pick up the Magnum, let's actually look in here. I think this is going to be shotgun shells. Oh, guess what? Shotgun shells, yay! It'd be heavy, very handy if I had some a shotgun on me. Just, just saying. But now for something really good important, the Magnum, or Colt Python, should I call it? But it's a Magnum. Magnum rounds loaded, and this thing is ready for war. It's very powerful, especially against living things. Bum bum. I never thought I'd see this in Resident Evil 1 original, but I'm lost. Honestly. I've got like one room left to check. And I'm having real good doubts of the key being in there. And I don't really want to use the cop weapon on those two zombies. The mighty bee men lost? No, it can't be. It's impossible. Do, do I dare to even use a cult python on two random zombies? That sounds really, really silly. But oh, then again, I haven't checked the garden. But then the garden... I'm sure I need an item for the garden. Where the... It must have been in one of the rooms on the white. So the two of the rooms on the left... Okay, I like to buy the sword key. One is locked from the other side, and I haven't gone into the garden area yet. So that may be the next task. Everything on the right side is pretty much locked off to me. Upstairs. Everything on the west side that I haven't been to is locked. So literally my two point places to go to are the garden and the room next to where Richard died. I know. I much prefer that in the later versions when he does finally show which rooms are locked. Or even in say like Sea World where it shows where items are when you've been in those rooms. So like if you dropped a green herb or if you know there's a green herb in that room, it will tell you on the map that the green herb's there. I'm not going crazy, I've not just completely been oblivious to it. Have I? Surely, surely I haven't just been oblivious and it's been under my nose this whole time. I mean, I know the armor key is pretty much useless now until I get passed through the sword key room. Because in the first floor, I can't even get through to the dog corridor, as it's lightly known. Wait, Brendan Return here is not going to do me much good. So, I'm going to need to stack up real quick. I'll put the armor key away for the moment. And I'm going to need the magnum and the lighter. And this is the only place left I can think of where the sword key can be. So I need another item for the other room, right near here. I'm literally going crazy. Where the theft's the sword key? The last thing I want to do is Google where the sword key is. That would just be embarrassing to my knowledge of Resident Evil. 
A zombie. Oh, wait. I'm sure that one's locked by a helmet key, but. But that was easily dodged. Everyone's cheering me on in the chat. Thank, thank you, chat. Mainly mage and geeky. Brains tick tocking like that clock. I'm not. I'm not really being stupid. It is not in an obvious place, right? Okay, now Mage is just teasing me. It's not. It wouldn't. You wouldn't happen to have it, would you, Mage? Mage. I almost called you Mage then. That would have been embarrassing. <laughs> Can I have the sword key, Mage, please. For the record, for anyone watching this on YouTube later, Mage is a mod on the Twitch chat, so it shows the sword icon. He actually good. Have I been there before, Mage? Out of curiosity. I was not ready for that. I knew it was coming and I was not ready for it. I was just being oblivious. Now get ready for the most wasted magnum rounds. No oh, mage can't remember. Oh, it's helpless. Now get ready for the most wasted magnum round you will ever see. Oh, fair it's, I've missed it. And there you go. So is it in the garden then? I know that that was so satisfying to news, but I can't, but I can't waste the ammo on them like that. Oh, but fifth. Hello. What the fifth? You can't do that. That bullshit. Fliff. That was bull. Should have fucking fifth, fifth. Now this should be locked. Carving of a shield. Fucking caution. What is this? Oh. Uh, I'm tempted to reload that because that was embarrassing as hell and I'd like to have my health. Alright, what's in here? <gasps> I've definitely been in the room. Okay, so it's not the garden room. Have I... Oh, I can't believe it. A, a candle. Oh, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, I'll take the hits. And the reason to light the candle is to actually look what's in here. What key is that? Well, Mage, I don't know what the fifth you're on about because I've got I just picked up the sword key. What a weird place for the sword key to spawn. You could be looking at the original instead of the advanced version. Because there's like three different... <laughs> there's like three different item sets for Resident Evil 1. Without including Remake. I'll be the safer in the store room. But yeah. But woo! Finally found the damn sword key after all this all this time. <laughs> Mage Google the end geek is plenty on him. 
Hey, I can now unlock everything. Yay. So that includes nothing up here, basically. Okay. Right, see, so yeah, I've now got a bit of ammo. <laughs> Geeky's sorry because you made a crap tea, says Mage. And he's blaming us. Or mainly Mage. So, yeah, all the Sorky unlocks are three rooms, I believe. There's one on the right and two on the left. Should I go to the save room first? That may be a good idea. Where's this way? Be quicker. Kiki would never blame me because I like Monkey Island. That is sound logic. I like it. I, I love that logic. Save room and going to deposit this nuisance thing into layer one. Uh, deposit the cult python. My house just screaming caution at me, but I want to save the green red herb or I should use it now. Pick up the armor key. You know what? Uh. Right, two green herbs technically count as a full heal, it seemed. Well, most of a full heal. Because that healed me to green on orange caution. Okay. Let's just waste all my green herbs, shall we? That sounds like a sound plan. See, and I'm back on green. I'm being way too cautious of not using my herbs like that and I want the armor key and now we should have lots more new places to explore in a bit right first things first we're gonna do what mage has been waiting for for a long while which he mentioned in the chat much earlier on in the stream Wait, over an hour ago, I believe it was. Do do do. Zombie still alive over there. <laughs> Be careful, you don't lose those keys, Bell. They are key items. No. You shock me, Mage. I would never know there would be key items really important to keep on me. But thankfully, we got here an expert, Chris Redfield. He knows when keys are needed. <laughs> I get it. Beep. I'm sure games always use the same carpet, by the way. No, I won't pick that up. I was gonna think I'd pick up finally picking up that medallion, but no, I'll leave it. Why am I calling it a medallion? It's a freaking crest. Fef, it's a crest, not a medallion. I don't know what's the difference. Alright, mage, are you gonna be are you excited? Are you excited, mage?
because here is a piano. A fine grand piano. Lots of keys on her piano. <laughs> Uh, Geeky was responding to my carpet mention earlier. They sure do. Carpet is always the same, but it's like a carpet your nana has that hides all the stains from the grandkids. Ah, music notes. Let's see if Rebecca's any more decent with keys, shall we? Chris's unfortunately can't read music. Ah, oh, he can't play the keys. He's not even pressing the keys. Look at that. He's using some magic power. It's me, Chris. Hey, wave. Is that you, Rebecca? No, it's Jill. Ah, it's the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? I guess that answers your question, Chris. Interpretation is off a little. Chris, may I practice for a while? Wait, what is that? What do you mean, what is that? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna quick save state here and let's go for both options, shall we? Let's go back and look for them at once. Alright. And she carries on playing. <laughs> Rebecca is playing the piano. I like, by the way, how Chris is frozen solid here. But Rebecca keeps playing. <laughs> she doesn't care about the other, she just wants to play, play, the, play the piano. And just randomly stops. Alright, let's try leaving. Rebecca. <laughs> I know, I know, but just a little longer. <laughs> Just a little longer. <laughs> Alright, let's do that properly now, shall we? <laughs> yep, I thought, I thought I'd show it off because it's the better option of the two. Like, you don't need to come back later to make her carry on playing. See? Just relax and play. Alright. But there you go. Rebecca. <laughs> I like how you turn off like she's a little kid. And then she gets like one. Just a little longer, please. It's like a kid wanting to stay up. Wanting to watch TV or play on their machine. She's only 18, but she's part of Stars. As their medical... Doctor, person, thingy, medic, medic, that's the word, medic. Hello. Nothing special. Oh, but this is special. I know she gets into stars and this is her first mission and look what happens. Chris is pondering the same thought. Even that or wondering why this bed's so messy. Wait. 
Dramatic music! Love you, bitch. Oh shit. There we go. <laughs> Dramaticness over, everyone. Relax, relax. The shocking scene's over. And now we have some shocking shows. Yay! The music. Mage is loving the music. That bucket and a mop. Looks like it, looks like it. Hmm. Oh, everyone's favourite book. <gasps> Yay! Okay. <clears throat> May 9th, 1998. At night, we play poker with Scott the guard. Elias and Steve the researcher. I like how Elias says the only one that didn't actually get like a special title there, while everyone else gets like their job duty. What the heck happened to the music then? Steve was really lucky, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. May 10th, 1998. Today, a high-ranking researcher asked me to take care of a new monster. He looks like a gorilla without any skin. They told me to feed him live food. When I threw in a pig, they were playing with it. Tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before they actually ate it. How horrible. May 11th. Around 5 o'clock this morning, Scott came in and woke me up suddenly. He was wearing a protection suit that looks like a spacesuit. He told me to put one on as well. I heard there was an accident in the basement lab. It's no wonder those researchers never rest, even at night. May 12th. Okay, we're still not skipping a day there. I thought we skipped a day for some reason. I've been wearing this annoying spacesuit since yesterday. My skin grows musty and feels very itchy. By way of revenge, I didn't feed those dogs today. Now I feel better. Welcome, Plurious Platypus, to the chat. First thing they were read in the chat was itchy tasty. May 13th. I went to the medical room because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on my back, and the doctor told me. I did not need to wear the spacesuit anymore. I guess I can sleep well tonight. Yay, sleep. May 14th. When I woke up this morning, I found another blister on my foot. It was annoying and I ended up dragging my foot as I went to the dog's pen. They have been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. I'll be in real trouble if the high ups find out. May 15th. Even though I didn't feel well, I decided to go see Nancy. It's my first day off in a long time. But I was stopped by the guard on the way out. They say the company has ordered that no one leave the grounds. I can't even make a phone call. What kind of joke is this? May 16th. I heard a researcher who tried to escape from this mansion was shot last night. Wow. That's extreme. My entire body feels burning and itchy at night. When I was scratching the shredding on my arm, a lump of warm flesh dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? A very good question. And we're nearing to the good part. May 19th. Fever gone but itchy. Hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy itchy Scott came. Ugly face so killed him. Tasty. Four. Itchy. Tasty. Nom. May says thank you to everyone in the chat for supporting my stream. Ah, oh, thanks everyone. And thank you, Major Swell, because I, I did see you advertised it. And this, everyone, was the Keeper. I'm pretty sure he locked himself in here for whatever reason. Poor, poor guy. <laughs> 